There are two models in the range, and both of them are built around a high-performance Japanese engine. These reels are perfectly suited for fishing in medium to very deep water, also for jigging and for high-speed retrieve fishing scenarios. Both of the models we'll be talking you through today run off a 12-volt battery. Both reels also have a one-piece alloy frame matched with a machined alloy spool. Inside the reels, there is two high-quality NSK Japanese stainless steel ball bearings. For optimum performance, you want to match these reels up with the right rods. We've matched the 700 up with a Gary Howard Offshore Extreme. It's perfect for jigging and live baiting and dropping in that sort of medium depth. The 1200 reel has been matched up with the Gary Howard Power Drop. As you can see, it's a much more serious rod. Very, very strong Alps three-footed guides and at the top, a swivel tip Alps guide as well. You can match the 700 up with this rod, but if you're wanting to do some jigging and you're wanting to stand up, I'd suggest going for the offshore extreme. The WFT Electra reels run on 12 volt power, which is delivered via cable plug-in. It's provided and fitted with alligator clips, which you can connect to a 12 volt power source. They can be plugged into your boat's battery, but this is not recommended due to unstable voltage caused by multiple accessories drawing from the same power source. So it's best to have a separate battery set up for your reel. We have completed battery testing with the recommended VRLA 12 volt 17 AH, which will power two reels for a day's fishing, or one reel for more than one day. These batteries are compact and should fit in the side pockets of most offshore boats. To learn more about the functions, features and how to fish with your WFT Electra Reel, please watch the other videos in this four part series at wftreels.com.au.